UNODC's Global Maritime Crime Programme is uh, here in Trincomalee delivering the sort of training that can only effectively be delivered on the water. So we're making use of vessels that have been captured from those involved in the trafficking of heroin and illegal fishing. And we're making use of the skills of the Sri Lanka uh, Special Boat, Boat Squadron who are based here in Trincomalee combined with the skills of UNODC trainers who are specialists in law enforcement and evidence seizure to provide a really first-class course for um, some of our member states who want to improve their capabilities to board these sorts of vessels. Our aim on a vessel is firstly secure or to, to make sure it's fist, fitness to travel in our or to sail in our uh, territorial waters that it uh, that it's got no environmental impact or environmental threat on our territorial waters. We are from the Coast Guard. We are doing a routine patrol. Second of all is to treat the boat as evidence, as a crime scene, to find contraband, to find weapons, to find undocumented people, um, illegal fishing, slave labor on fishing vessels. That is our job. So the UNRDC, the mentors, they are law enforcement officers. So we mix together with law enforcement and the tactical staff. Then the trainees will learn both. They will learn the legal aspects at the same time, the tactical things. Doing uh, joint training exercises with, uh, with our counterparts, uh, most especially with our with our uh, ASEAN neighbors is very important. We get to, to know them more. We get to do lateral coordinations because it also promotes camaraderie within the uh, ASEAN brothers. What makes today particularly special is that we have um, one of our most important donors here, represented by the Ambassador of Japan to uh, Sri Lanka. And it gives him the opportunity to see how we spend donors' money. Alright, number seven, can come down. Alright, so you're taking this boat to harbour for extra, uh, extended safety sweep? Thank you.